Difference in Bodo 3 between Resource, Client, and Session? I am using Python February 7, 2012 and Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. I'm learning how to use Bodo 3 from the following link, this URL. My doubt is when to use Resource, Client, or Session, and their respective functionality. Client and resource are two different abstractions within the BOTO3 SDK for making AWS service requests. If you want to make API calls to an AWS service with BOTO3, then you do so via a client or a resource. You would typically choose to use either the client abstraction or the resource abstraction, but you can use both, as needed. I've outlined the differences below to help readers decide which to use. Session is largely orthogonal to the concepts of client and resource, but is used by both. Here's some more detailed information on what client, resource, and session are all about. Client This is the original BOTO3 API abstraction, it provides low-level AWS service access, all AWS service operations are supported by clients, it exposes Botox or client to the developer, it typically maps one-to-one -one with the AWS service API, it exposes snake cased method names, for example list buckets API equals and GT, list underscore buckets method, typically yields primitive, non-martial data, for example Dynamo attributes are dicts representing primitive Dynamo values. Requires you to code result pagination, it is generated from an AWS service description. Here's an example of client level access to an S3 buckets objects. Note, this client level code is limited to listing at most 1000 objects. You would have to use a paginator, or implement your own loop, calling list underscore objects underscore v2 repeatedly with a continuation marker if there were more than 1000 objects. Okay, so that's the low level client interface. Now on to the higher level, more abstract, resource interface. Resource This is the newer BOTO3 API abstraction, it provides a high-level, object-oriented API, it does not provide 100% API coverage of AWS services, it uses identifiers and attributes, it has actions, operations on resources, it exposes sub-resources and collections of AWS resources, typically yields marshaled data, not primitive AWS data, for example Dynamo attributes are native Python values representing primitive Dynamo values, does result pagination for you. It is generated from an AWS resource description. Here's the equivalent example using resource level access to an S3 buckets objects. Note, in this case you do not have to make a second API call to get the objects, they are available to you as a collection on the bucket. These collections of sub-resources are lazily loaded. You can see that the resource version of the code is much simpler, more compact, and has more capability, for example it does pagination for you, and it exposes properties instead of a raw dictionary. The client version of the code would actually be more complicated than shown above if you wanted to include pagination. Finally, onto session which is fundamental to both client and resource and how both get access to AWS credentials, for example. Session Stores configuration information, primarily credentials and selected region, allows you to create service clients and resources, Boto3 creates a default session for you when needed.
A useful resource to learn more about these BOTO3 concepts is the introductory reinvent video. Update Jan 2023 for the resources page in the BOTO3 documentation. The AWS Python SDK team does not intend to add new features to the resources interface in BOTO3. Existing interfaces will continue to operate during BOTO3's lifecycle. Customers can find access to newer service features through the client interface. You can read more about the plans to deprecate resources at BOTO3 slash discussions slash 3563. I'll try and explain it as simple as possible. So there is no guarantee of the accuracy of the actual terms. Session is where to initiate the connectivity to AWS services. For example, following is default session that uses the default credential profile, for example, slash AWS slash credentials, or assume your ECT2 using YAM instance profile. Because default session is limit to the profile or instance profile used, sometimes you need to use the custom session to override the default session configuration, for example, region underscore name, endpoint underscore URL, etc., for example. Resource, this is the high-level service class recommended to be used. This allows you to tie particular AWS resources and passes it along, so you just use this abstraction then worry which target services are pointed to. As you notice from the session part, if you have a custom session, you just pass this abstract object then worrying about all custom regions, etc. to pass along. Following is a complicated example. For example, Client is a low-level class object. For each client call, you need to explicitly specify the targeting resources, the designated service target name must be passed long. You will lose the abstraction ability. For example, if you only deal with the default session, this looks similar to boto3.resource. However, if you want to list objects from a bucket in different regions, you need to specify the explicit bucket parameter required for the client. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing.